What is up, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, today is Thursday. I'm playing some more control. Uh, I just want to welcome you all to year two of this channel. Everything is going to be the same as it was before. But I, I still want to welcome you guys to the second year of this channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna jump into it. I don't really have anything to say. We were doing side missions last time. And we still have a few more, so... Side mission time. It's time for side missions. Hope you like side missions, because that's what we're, we're doing. It's, uh... We're doing side mission. Can I go up there? <gasps> yeah? Oh? Okay. Oh. Also, I just realized there there is nothing up there. So, great, great, good, yeah. Now, I finished this one, and I think I decided to. Yeah, I think I want to go with the levitation because I really like flying around. I think it's fun. So, so I'm wondering, like, does this let me fly high? I think it does, just a little bit. All right. Anyway, uh, which quest are we doing? We got four of them, and yeah, this is what I mean. Like we have, we we'll have a few side missions. Yeah! Hey, thank you for the follow, Bob. Uh, Bob Bucks, dude. I appreciate it. Hope I'll be able to entertain you. How are you doing today? Um. Yeah, yeah, I am sitting straight. I actually have this thing for my back that helps me sit straight because yesterday completely destroyed my back. Um, sitting six hours and building Lego, yeah, destroyed my back. Let's let's do this one. I don't think this one will be super intriguing, so let's do that one first. And that one is in the medical wing. I don't even think I can progress that far into med medical wing because I don't have the uh, sixth clearance key card thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally what it meant. All right. Yeah, I think. Uh... Mold's gotten in here too. Oh, I'm supposed to go. Here. All right, let's get cleaning. She said, cocking her gun. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. So, is it in this area? Am I supposed to shoot that, those things? I am. Huh. Is that one of the things? No, I don't think so. Now, I am using a new uh, mouse, but the sense seems pretty okay. Oh, okay. Huzzah, I am here. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm 
I'm really liking that huzzah. It's part of your character now. Get, get out of here. Just gonna lower it a little bit for my own sake. I'm doing great, thank you. How about you? I'm good. We had our uh, one year anniversary stream yesterday and I'm feeling great. Don't fucking die. <laughs> I thought I had him, so sad. Maybe I should increase the C's speed. It's a little bit slow. Plus, I use it a lot, so... Can I just fight that over the... Yeah, I think I can. The launch energy cost. That should be a lot faster now. Hey, congrats on one year. Thank you. It's, uh... It's weird, actually. Just thinking about it, you know? I've been doing this for a full year. It, 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 it's like a w good, weird feeling, you know? Mold's gotten in here too? All right. Can I just shoot the same spots? Yeah, that works. Wow, that was... Uh, I didn't even get a reward, dude. I didn't even get a reward. Okay. That is faster. Man, you did a good job. Yeah, so I'm using a uh, wireless keyboard and mouse, and it feels nice, I have to say. It took some time to get used to, especially the side buttons. They're so small. Look at them. They're so small, but it's nice. I like it. It's easier to clean around the desk and stuff. Um, ha did he now get like a new mission? The the guy. Uh, Ati, I think his name is. So, Haku, do you have any fun plans uh, for the weekend? Let's have a look over here. Ati. Any more side missions? No. At least not now. Alright, let's uh, check the mission actually. We have a few things we can do. I, ca I couldn't do this one either because I need the, the, the key card thing. Let's let's find his friends. Uh, maintenance Atlas Chamber. We're gonna kill his friends. Ouch! What the fuck? What the fuck? Damn. Did 
did they all become corrupted? How trash are his friends? Okay, so they're all about... Oh, yeah, they're all in the maintenance section. Okay. Uh, we might as well go to NSC Energy Convert. My have school till Saturday. Not Pug at all, but hey, I can still play some, some games after it, so yeah. Wait, you, ha you have school on Saturday as well? Do you have school on Saturdays? Where is he? Oh, hi, Ramus. Oh wow, you did not have a lot of HP, did you, Ramus? Okay, next one is Blackrock Processing. Which would be from the Atlas Chamber. Yeah, but only my school, my brother's school, and at Friday. So yeah, the Saturday part is really, it really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, but I guess the plus side is less homework? Question mark? Like, do you have less homework, or do you have the same amount? Ah, goodbye. Man, Arish, all, all your friends are dead. I killed them all. I mean, they were already kind of dead, so it's not, it's not on me, I promise. They were, they were, they, yep. Yeah, I accidentally tapped out. Uh, the amount of homework is increasing instead of decreasing, man. It, that's e the even more sucky part. I feel sorry for you. Um, maybe you get. I, I like I don't know w what grade you you're in, and uh, you, you shouldn't this like you shouldn't say it. But if you're if you're still in like elementary school, then. I think it's kind of fine. Actually, if if, if you the, the more you get taught during elementary school, the easier easier you'll have uh, in high school. But if you're not in elementary school, then I honestly feel sorry for you. Like genuinely, cuz high school sucks. He's in here, lurking, hiding somewhere. Also, I can fly, bitch. Now I've been up here before, but there was this one door I've never opened, and I think you have to come from the other side. But I'm still curious about it. Yeah, you do. Wait, it's from the janitor's office that. Let's you go. Okay, it's a shortcut, kinda. Huh? Maybe. Okay, I'll I'll check it out soon. But now, where is this little guy? He's in the room. That's for sure. But where? Yeah. 
Yeah, high school really sucks, man. Like, really sucks. Yeah. I mean, the only good thing about high school was that... I was kind of pretty much friends with everyone. So, for me, friends were, wasn't really an issue. I was actually friends with some of the smartest kids in, in the class. I still talk to them to this day, so... Where are you? Oh, you be you like you became my motherfucker. Oh, that's good, good, of, uh, good of you. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually it. it the only, I I the only thing I hated about high school was the amount of work. You never got a break from anything. Hello? Attack me. No! Fuck! Holy shit. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, view, yeah, that's relatable. Yes, yeah, like the amount of work you just I stu I like I studied studied natural science, so of course, you know that was already gonna be a, a lot of work. But I also went to one of the like best high schools. I mean I would argue it's not the best, but I digress. Uh I, I went to one of the like best high schools in Sweden. So it was even more work than usual and it sucked because especially now i'm not really interested in natural science i'm more interested in like programming stuff and i did the, the like the, the studies i had did not cover programming at all so that feels great <laughs> hey that's part of life you know you you try some things if you don't if, if they don't fit what you want to do then you shouldn't really do them anymore, should you? Uh, damn, that's a lot of blast. Radius, keeping them. So the last one was in the quarry. Black Rock Quarry. Hello? Am I blind? Quarry entrance. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there is one more fast travel thing in there, but I couldn't get to it. And I, I don't know how you open that door. Unless it's open for you. Oh, he's right here. Don't don't throw it at the wrong guy. A reef saw it coming though. I should get these back to him. Okay, let's talk to Arish and give him the bad news. Uh. Hello. Here are the pouches. They found six. Well, that's all of them. Kind of mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but that's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. <laughs> now the story's confidential, but. Uh... I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm the portion. 
Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? <laughs> yeah, please out, do. There was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh man, we nearly did it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks, just in case we ever ran into another. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you leave the Rangers? Thought I could do more good here. Somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? I like him. He's cool. I have oh, to go. God, she, me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. He's cool. Very sad, but he's cool. I respect him. He has my respect. One one respect point gained. I don't know, I don't feel like there is like anything super enticing to buy anymore. Most of them are just kind of damage upgrades and stuff. Which is good, don't get me wrong, but I should I should technically be investing in these, but I'm going to go with this one cuz if this one lets me like levitate longer and it may possibly the higher then I'm going I'm, I'm going for that. All right. Now, we do have one more side mission I want to check out, and it's Jukebox. So let's do that before we continue with the main story. Give the man some respect. He gave one respect point. Chal challenging expedition that grants rare rewards. High challenging expedition that grants... I take expedition in quarry site beta to earn, earn unique mods. Complete each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal the reward waiting inside. I, I don't really understand what this is. I, I'm guessing this is a. Uh, Side quest thing? No, not side quest, but like, oh yeah, this is like a. Four sites. Oh. Okay. Took damage? Okay. Oh, okay. Don't, don't, don't go. You're gonna die. He's not getting hit. Oh, hi. Fuck me. Okay, this is going great. So I'm just supposed to stand in this? You're doing great. Thank you. We don't have to stay here. We can go. Ah, uh, we can. I said we can go. I'm not doing great. <laughs> Fuck. 
That bitch hit me. I never knew they could hit. Oh, it just restarts the whole thing. Okay, we'll try it one more time, but... I don't want to waste my time if this is... This doesn't seem like a side mission. It just seems like a survival kind of thing. Motherfucker! Oh my god! Where? I'm not fighting that guy. You can forget about it, dude. You win this fight. I'm leaving. Thank you very much. I need the HP. I need the HP. I need it. Thank you. Now help me out. Thank you, boys. Where is cleansing uh, site A? Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay. Try it again. Now, we, so we gotta do four diff. No, no, no. That wasn't high enough. Come on. Thank you. Always the same thing. Retrieve the lost specimen. No. Oh, shit. Become mine. Ah, heal me. Does someone want to mess with me, please? So I can yeah, throw these at you. Alright. 
Was that wave one? Yep. Oh, fuck. No! Okay. Okay, wait. Fuck! Are you kidding me? No shoot! You son of a... No, I know. No, that that doesn't count, cause cause I I it's a char charge weapon, so I can't cancel it. It doesn't count, bitch. Fuck you. I decide how it works. I do. That's what they all say. I'm in charge. Can it? So Snaz is there, and then just start this shit right about. Is it on? Wait, is it on the screen? Is it? It is. Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll add the difference in time. Nah. I'm never in denial. Okay, we're gonna have to throw shit. No shooting. That's that's what they all say, my guy. Indeed, let's cancel. No, <laughs> I don't want to be part of this cancel culture, man. I don't like it anymore. Hmm. What shall I? Uh. Right now, uh, launch cost. Yeah, this is a, like a heavy enemy I'm up against because it... Why? He's a sl Okay, well, I'll have to get him after the timer is out. You are too kind. Again, I can't add a timer upon a timer, so. What's it on? One and a half minutes? Okay, so around six and a half then. My friend, my kind friend. Uh. Oh, even tougher enemy. Uh. Then we came out when the band comes out, so that's all fan. All calculated, yeah. He knew, he knew somehow. Oh, this is pain. You're an absolute ass, and I hate you. Oh my ass. Yep. How do I know what I'd ban the elemental things he's doing? And summon Penny, of course. Elemental thing? You mean my uh, abilities? You know, then I can't even play the game. So, d d you know, don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy.
I'm barely doing damage because I, I can't fucking shoot. Please die, friend. Did not free an epic. Thank me later. Damn, dang, dang, right. Nope. Nope, I said dang, and dang's not a swear word. No, it wasn't! Don't be- No! <laughs> I'm- I'm innocent! Okay. I'm allowed to use my weapon now. Good, good. I said, dang. So around 6.50, the curse is gone. And then uh, a little bit later, I'll get Dio. I think he's sleeping right now, so I don't want to wake him up. But I'll get him. I'll get him soon. I'll wake him up. Dang is the... No, that's the innocent version of that word you just said. Can I jump that high, please? No, it's not letting me. Let me jump that high. Thank you. All right, fine. I said I said this where word, okay? Just add another two and a half minutes. It'll be done around nine minutes. At, at nine minute mark. Hello? Am I supposed to make this jump? I'm allowed to shoot, by the way. So. What the hell? Uh oh. Hurry. Wor worst waste of points ever. I mean, you wasted it, so that's on you, man. You wasted them all at the same time. So that I. I mean, I did a full refund so that I can summon Penny. You, you know what? For you, friend, I'll, 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 I'll give you a, a deal, okay? I'll, I'll, sh I'll bring both up, but for a reduced amount of time, okay? Come on, work. Bitch! Think you can fucking mess with me? Hear the beeping. Where is it? 
Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Fuck it! There you go. Haha, <laughs> I can swear, bitch. I'm not doing this stupid challenge right now. Wait, did the- it, Oh, the progress is saved. Okay, well then, then we can continue. But I'm gonna go get Penny. I'll be right back. I mean Dio, and then we'll get Penny or whatever. Yeah, be right back. Cut. Hello. He's so sleepy. You made me wake him up. I'm going to put you down it on my lap. No, no, no. Just rest. Just rest, boy. And I'll back up. Okay, you can rest, you can rest, it's fine, it's fine. He is adorable. He is the cute. He is the happiness of life. His name is Dio. How are you sleeping right now? Look at his head. It's not even properly leaning at mine. Dio. Hello. He's very happy right now. He is so soft. His fur is so soft. It's like, it's like a pillow. But softer. Because he's a little chunky boy. No, he's not chunky, actually. He's just a little bit larger. Like, both length and size than Penny. She's pretty small and skinny. No, I'm not doing it when he's here. That's just cruel. Come on.
No, I let, let him sleep. He's tired. Look, he, he doesn't even care that I'm holding his hand. How are you doing, do you? Look, usually he'll wake up and care. Oh, he did. Okay. Hey, do you? Hey. Come on. Come on, do you? He can't sleep right. Oh, don't you fall, little guy. You're my little child. You, you can lean back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lean back. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you relax, boy. Boy, you take a relaxing time, boy. You like my massage deal? I'm the best at, at the massage. All right, uh, I'm gonna go get Penny. He 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 he's gonna you know he deserves some sleep. Come here. Let's let's just do this before we go. Oh. He's very confused right now. All right, guys, I'm I'm gonna just let him uh, rest a little bit. I'll be right back. Penny, no. No, 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 you're gonna fall like that. Come out. We were standing on a very sensitive spot. Come on. You can lay back. You can relax. Girl. Go. 
girl, you can take it. Take a chill. Just relax, little girl. You got this. You're tired as well. I know you're tired. I'm gonna let you guys be now, okay? Just relax with your brother girl <laughs> she's uh she's tired they're both tired i feel bad for waking them up a little bit but on the plus side we might be able to fix their sleep schedule now now that they're awake so that's great they uh they do tend to stay up during the nights which means uh that we can't really play with them as often because they they sleep during the days don't push my hand penny come on penny show show your show your part to the stream penny hey come on all right I'm gonna show you to the stream. Look up. Oh, okay, it's a little bit bright, isn't it? It isn't it? It's bright, yeah. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh yeah, give me that kiss. <laughs> She's trying to escape. No escape for you, Penny. I will. I will keep you by my side forever. This is pain. Help me, please. Highly doubt that night owls. Yeah, they're night owls. But I, you know, I'd hope that their sleep schedule would change eventually. I mean, you can't te teach a cat when, 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 uh, when you sleep. Like you can't teach any other animal. Ouch! Don't you? Don't you? No, no, no! You're there. There, you're here to be witnessed by them. Okay. You're here to be witnessed by them. Okay. Now give me a kiss. Give a kiss. <laughs> the child shall not escape. Okay, you can go off a little bit. She just want to stretch her body. Oh, come on, Penny. And no, no, come back. Off the bed. Off it. It's no time to sleep, girl. We have more cuddling to do. Yeah, cuddle me. Cuddle me, lady. Cuddle me. Face literally says, help me. Let me go, please. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on, you love me too. You love me too. Now give me kiss. Kiss. He never gives me kiss on stream. Do you wanna sleep? Am I being annoying? Am I being annoying? Look at me. Do you want to sit on the table? Is it a nice table? Penny, is it nice? Alright, I'm gonna go, let her go. She she wants to sleep. I don't want to be that guy. Uh, so, are we, gonna, are we gonna do this? Now, look at the camera. <laughs> She's so done. No, she does show affection, but... I'll be right back, guys.
I forgot about the microphone. Yes, yes, I did. Don't stand in front of me, teammate. What? What? I threw it twice. He didn't take damage. That's some bullshit. I'm offended. I don't think we're going to make this challenge. I just wanted to try it out. Not sure I'm a super big fan of it. But hey, it's some extra content for the diehard fans. So... Is getting in the way, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure, actually. This is like a boss thing here. Burn the his corrupted material. How do I know what's his corrupted Oh, I see it. You can also go in there if you want. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Uh, good luck with the stream and take care of the kittens. Bye, yo. Thank you for stopping by. Barely. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, thanks for the... The nice gameplay you gave me. <laughs> but yeah, stay safe, man. And, uh, take care. Oh, well, that's nice. Where are the his corrupted pieces? Oh, that's one. Come on. Give it to me. Why did it go back? Come here. I mean, did did it clear? It should have cleared. I mean, I think it cleared. If if I mean, I I oh my, my guy, kissy kissy, take care, of chat. Thank thanks, man. Thank you so much. You're cute, barely. You're cute. Now we have the last one, and we have four minutes to do it. Oh, okay. Help me, please. Hurry. Faster. Ah. Uh. Okay, go.
I don't have time for you. No, hurry. Okay, yep. Come on. Hurry! It's still on time? There's a boss as well? Where is he? Oh. I don't see him. How did I damage it? Yeah. So you're supposed to do all those four and that within like 25 minutes. I mean, I did fuck up a little bit here and there, but but still, I I I, I don't know. Especially this boss, like it. Come on. Show yourself. I killed him though. I killed him though. He was dead. No. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll try more at a later point, but I don't want to keep take the whole stream doing this. Guess this is oh, it. The timing. All right, we have these completed the mission. That's good enough. Jukebox item is to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. See security order in 239A. The room must be sealed before usage to prevent unintentional transportation of staff. A classic 50s jukebox made by Songmaster and Entertainment Ltd. The jukebox was uh, found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others by Hmm. When this record is played in the object... And uh, in, in the object, anyone within earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. Those involved in the object's first known incident report being transferred to a tropical beach, exact location unknown. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorize that this site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning material gravitation to its position as has been observed 
with other bureau equipment. Uh, the oldest house unique nature could also be having an effect on the object itself. The object is not bound to any any known individual attempts by sta uh, bureau staff to bind it has resulted in hmm, and should not be attempted again. Oh, you have another quest. There you are. Did you uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them, but it's not good news. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau flying around. There were a lot of Hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is, we cannot let the Hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the Hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. Try. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Did I get like a quest, or was it just a uh... formation? The formation is a tall stone structure found in the quarry site beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens into the junk bo jukebox object of power C O O P ten case file for details. The formation's exact purpose is hmm. We can at least examine its relationship with the hmm surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of hmm hmm at certain lines running from the formation to the hmm. Uh, when examined properly for direct ritual th tethers were detected, some, some form of sympathetic casualty connects connects the foundation with the hmm, which means in theory that when certain hmm are performed at once, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment or of purpose or desire in nearby, nearby individuals. Though I'd like to remind those individuals that were, were the parakinesiology kine, department, not the parafeelings department. <laughs> Uh, I'm proud to report that my team's team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These ar arches uh, will help rangers identify when the casual tethers are active, allowing them allowing them to better hmm. For the file eight thirty eight nineteen eighty nine, for full report. Eight thirty eight nineteen eighty nine, for full report. Okay, let's do the story, Emily. Timeline of events. Summarize the invasion timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of re uh, reliable communication between bureau sectors and staff. Pre preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding question that the timeline may help answer how did the his get past the internal lockdown how does his residence advance through space deliberately or uniformly uh, what is their ultimate goal the outside world a cross dimensional destination refer to file hmm, for full report hello emily oh, another speech analysis we understand the hiss to be, if we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now agreed upon the term f for their vocalization, is an ex an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used word used is want interestingly every usage of the word 
is attrib attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are are we the you the his are referring to? Does the his believe humanity possible? Possibly all non his life wants to join it to be consumed by it. Is it is that its goal? Second most used word words are th uh, through and time. Is this possibly the his stating how they arrived or an indication of its age? There is clear uh, intention in the words dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Fair to hmm for full report. Okay, 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 I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I get it, I get it, I get it. What's up? Where did my brother go? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse. Be careful. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Where? It's in the executive suite area. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in the data like it was a code? Apparently the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other He's in here. Damn. You are a one through time. The thunders on distorts you. Happiness come. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Your own mirror and verdict is made right. Leave your hands at the front door. Push the thing through the surface into the light. You are spending your youth quest to betrayal. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Hello. <coughs> That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Yeah. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything... Left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Oh, it's going on. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But 
She didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Through the song time for a plot, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. <laughs> there it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. My mere words of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime <laughs> Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. Turns level six, okay. Do you have anything left to say? Imagine if the NPC allowed to think uh, were allowed to think for themselves, what would they do when the player did where things in the game? Yeah, they <laughs> actually uh, t today's games they the, the devs they've made the NPCs a little bit more conscious so like if you attack them and stuff they'll react and, but they they can't really have their own like they can't think for themselves because they ultimately just could and he's floating again yeah he absorbed his yeah he did I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here Dylan can we talk I'd like to tell you about it dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse. Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Yeah, that's Did odd. Mess with me? I'd stop flooding. What else do you have to say? Maybe Dylan's Float. Here. Float. Maybe there's a way to reach him. <laughs> I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan. 
Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. Yep. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted. And none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. Yeah, your dreams fucking suck, dude. Another dream, okay. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting Motherfucker. Dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. How many shit? Okay. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. <laughs> Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. Nice name. And he told me that there are many worlds side by side on top of each other. Some inside of others. In one world there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. 
All right. Any more dreams, bro? Here we go again. Once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. I'm standing there and watching and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? <sighs> I don't know. Alright, I, I, I just gotta do something real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this. Alright, so he wants me to go to the prime candidate program and containment. But, we have a few different areas we can check out now with the, with the whole thing. Um, actually, I think we can do the side mission now. Containment. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're supposed to go to this section, I think. Maybe we do the story first before we do the side mission, actually. They want me to go to the new area. Okay. It's my face. I had a feeling this would happen. Time to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm holding you by the leg, dude.
What? Oh, what? I was trying to read it. Mirror supplement. Uh, Victorian Mirror. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a, a sudden rise in disappearances and, hmm, Illinois agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though uh, the missing people of the town were never recovered. Supplementary materials. Date August 18th, uh, 19, 9, 1915. We, uh, we, cert uh, we certify that the case of Mr. Hmm has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and Im imaginary female trouble. Uh, her fixation with the family looking looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter, matter considering the female disposition. Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. Signed, Dr. Hmm. So we got a new quest. Look at the, the mirror in synchro synchronicity. We'll do it later. Prime candidate program. Define you, prime candidate. The bureau needs a director. Our future. P six and P seven. I'm I'm P seven. I know it. I can guarantee it. Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have. Oh, that's depressing. And prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. Damn.
Hello. Oh, big guy. This area is uh, very weirdly designed. Oh, this is trippy. Bright Falls supplement. Yo! Bright Falls. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in, in the form of hmm, memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was con concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Ema, uh, em em Emil uh, Hartman referred to the creator's dilemma and the file uh, the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Your research believed this event was the result of a forceful perception of subject reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our, uh, our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential pro-utilitarian, see prime candidate program file for more details. In 2011, a book of Clay Stewart titled The uh, Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press on New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and su suspected did minor per utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes: A, mi a monitoring station uh, was established established at Cauldron Lake to alert Bureau of any fu fu uh, future activity. Man, now I really want a sequel to Unwake, like a proper sequel, not one of those uh, Xbox arcade games, like a proper sequel. What is this? God, the only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. What the fuck is this? Oh, this is for the other side quest, isn't it? Mannequin, yeah. I'm supposed to shoot them? They turn. Oh, they look at me. Oh, this is. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> All right. No known procedures for preventing the item's effect. Update 390. Lenning the item's cell with the, the newly discovered black rock 
has yielded positive result tests with other altered items. Description altered effect. Wire and fabric waste mannequin. The base and the head are made of sustained wood. The item duplicates the trigger of this behavior is unknown. No correlation can be found in either the number of duplications that manifest during an episode or the duration of which they last before dis disappearing. Man, I hate mannequins. I fucking hate them. Hello. Hello, lo, 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 lo. Any enemy around here? Collectible. Collectible, yes? Question mark? Collectible. Alright, I think that's all. I, I probably didn't check here. Let's head over to the other side P7 P6 Closed cases <laughs> Fuck no Right fall summary uh, An unconfirmed partial manifested at Colner Lake uh, Washington resulted in a, a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake creating an awe in which reality was altered to match that of the story though only locally and for a limited time Mr. Kirkland head of investigation was alerted on September 13th 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker C. Hmm, that an awe event was taking place in Bright Falls Washington Referred to events investigated in 1970, 1976, and 1978. Breaker received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who uh, is the current sheriff of the of, of Bright Falls. Bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted referred to the 1970 uh, Thomas Zane, 1976, 1978 Odin Anderson, Thor Anderson. Alwick was believed to hmm invest investi uh, Alwick was believed to hmm instigator. Our witness reports highlights highlight an old light switch possible object of power that hmm missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reported claims he dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. And just reading these makes me want to play on Wake again. <laughs> oh, okay, fuck being. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, let's do this.
I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. <laughs> ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> Stop! I fucking hate this show. I don't want the big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. This doesn't seem like an educational show at all. At all. Horrible show. Fucking hate it. Fuck whoever created it. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power. Something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's... that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Is this a force? Dylan has so much. He's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Well, you, you didn't make it work, so, you know. Bad job. P6, victim autopsy. Agent killed during hmm, involving hmm, hmm, code name P6. Bone force injuries to the head and neck, extensive trauma to the abdominal region. Lacerations and con uh, contu contusions of the upper and lower torso. Uh, fracture of the spinal cord uh, between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Uh, av av avulsion 
fracture of the third through eighth avulsion fracture of the third through tenth rib left and right uh blunt force injuries of the extramites abrasion laceration and contusion of the extramites dislocation of the left and right elbow dislocation of the left and right knee uh, conclusion after examination it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the hmm was contorted through his hmm what is this Federal Bureau of Control transcript uh, uh, of conversation subject uh, Dylan Faden by reviewing by uh, for review by Dr. Darling confidential. Note that the subject was alone during the uh, this outburst. Uh, you again? I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see I where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck you, you bitch. I will dig you out my I will dig you out of my brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. So to read the, the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated at <laughs> Uh, 553 that, that, that all happened within a minute <laughs> and then there's me is this what Dylan wanted me to see it doesn't matter we need to find that projector so I think this is the actual, these pictures of the actual actress. Coffee soap, what? P Candidate P7 outfit. Okay, cool. There are a few things we can do here. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. It's like a fucking stalker, this Bureau. <laughs> Jesse F Faden movement tracking. Uh, eastward movement cause for concern. Uh, September 24th, 2019, Department Cheyenne, uh, Wyoming, I guess. Horizon Sydney, Department Sydney, Horizon Des Moines, Reports Des Moines, Horizon Chicago, Depart Chicago. Man, she moves around a lot. Horizon South uh, Bend, Depart South Bend, Cleveland, Cleveland, Limburg, Limburg, and arrives in anyway. New York City, I mean. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in. Into it, like... We went inside, and that's where we found the spy projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. 
those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this, nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures, inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... Did they, uh, they were around the entire time convincing her that it didn't happen or some shit. Trying to convince her. That's kind of fucked up, actually. Especially now that she's saving everyone. Like, what the fuck? Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Help me out, boys. Transit corridor. Transit corridor? Before I go there, though. Rick Chad, dead dog. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Y'all fucked up. Y'all need some help. Y'all got some fucking issues. Oh. He was just waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> So I was supposed to use the elevator. Didn't get that impression. We'll, we'll try the door before we move anywhere else then. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, this was its own thing. Willow all shipping manifest. Uh, uh, hollow spheres don't like material. Vitrified soil pieces of various sizes and colors. Animal carcass, possible ca canine. Rust the metal bucket, leather wallet, age, shotgun cartridge. All materials to go to investigation sector for further analysis. Yeah, okay. That's a boss. Help! Oh. Then maybe it wasn't a boss. But hey, safe station! Find the ordinary R area. What? Ew. But I have the pill, don't I? Yeah, no. Nothing. How do you? Know? Typewriter page supplement. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor uh, from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. Hmm. Appendix. Text transcribed from the item. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where the fiction ends and reality begins. Here are, here they are all the same. It's a hideous trap. Every thought made real, fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fancy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The and identical words in the scratch out portion. Falls, right falls, haunting, awake, awake, light, switch. Ocean too late and final sentence you've been warned. It is on wake. I, I had that feeling because it's from a typewriter and uh, and, the, and the whole story of the game as well. Very cool.
Oh yeah, Jesse. Wait, how many have we been there? I think we have. Yeah, because we have a teleportation thing. Let's see the outfit. Oh, we can't see it here. Okay. Stop. Uh, yeah, we need more points. I'm using the charge right now. Um, so... Probably should upgrade that one then. Mods. Blast radius or fire rate? The ordinary uh, area by rotating the turntable. There is an area behind this door, but we can't get to it right now. Sterling awe. Ordinary awe. Ordinary dump site. Bridge operator. So we have to go down. Just want to see if there's anything else around here. There was. Oh shit. Jesse, I know where to go. Don't worry about it. I'm just looking. I just need the items. Work uh, chat teeth. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes? Me, that too, and you know what's inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. Maybe not, actually.
Wait. I saw that. Behind the wall. <gasps> what the fuck? Behind the wall? How many secret walls like this one exists? There is no other way to get in here. How would I have known otherwise? Yeah, there is no fucking way. Fucker. I'm dead. I can't move. <laughs> Fucker. Yet another fucking secret wall. Are you kidding? Okay. So if I see a wall with that symbol, I'm supposed to shoot it. I was outside. How? Bitch, what? I, I don't get it.
I'm looking for secret walls, people. Well, now we're on the other side, okay. Oh, there, there, there are more not that's okay. Yeah, I'm not finding anything else, so let's just uh, not stall and go. This one looks like the other side. Oh, airplane evaluation order. The airplane in question has been brought in from the private airfield located at the town of hmm, Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to hmm, OFC case file hmm, for details and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored at, in, in the transit corridor in the containment sector. Brought there through the New York subway tunnel special access. Hmm, for more information on uh, for more information on tunnel hmm, and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and hmm, see file four twelve forty five twenty one. The plane plane's bo uh, black box is currently being evaluated for hmm, hmm, and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status as yet. Has yet been detected. Refer to file 912 8371 for more details. Ordinary R stage 1A. The first slide was a room f with dirty wallpaper dolls and dolls on a shelf. There are lots of dolls. 
The house was empty and no one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Therapy session. Oh, Dylan Faden and then the Jesse Faden. I went to school with Neil, some kids call him Nosebleed Neil, like uh, like me Neil Hosenberg missing. Uh, it was mean. He had asthma. Tom likely, Tom Barlow missing, and his gang Freddy, no likely Freddy Bardwell missing. Hugo, no no one with his name has was found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the pump to the dump to play. F Dan uh, Dylan Faden, unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. to America overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thanks for staying with us. Here's our first caller. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If you found out, brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. That's bullshit. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 2003, a village called Or Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Ordinary summary. An awe occurred in the town of order caused by an object of power, slide projector ID OOP-15, discovered by local children at the dump outside of the town. Uh, when a specific set of sliders were used, uh, are used in the projectors, they project images op uh, open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Event response. On Aug August uh, 30th, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, C, P6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, uh, C, P7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector, C, O, P15, case file and drawing uh, presentations hmm, for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Drawling arrived at the site on September 14th. The awe had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with an ex exception for one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In addition, in total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in question. In for questioning and tests, the interviews, hmm, and primary candidate program files, hmm. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. 
We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality of power with our minds. Nope. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. Nice. I really got, I have to appreciate the the work this they put into this game, especially with that projector. Ordinary awe stage for a you see me follow the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them, more of the kids from the town had joined up. It was really scary just to grab the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us, I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about a about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said uh, a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. Uh, I think he liked being a dog. Projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing she was doing starts at school. Additional slides, the designation hand, Sid thirty six is ver verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity the designation dog Neil. Okay. Off stage two after what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw what uh, where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were uh, using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They'd been using the tumble sled. We call it that. It really was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We call them dung monkeys. I confirmed existence of additional slide, designation temple, and confirmed existence of paranormal entity, designated not mother. A lot of story here. Annual evaluation of Daniel Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? <coughs> Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Let's pass the word. Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. <laughs> Never visits, not since Robert. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I love <laughs> Describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? A, 
18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? You enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neo. And when it all went crazy, no one knew. Nosebleed Neo turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan? Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck you! Hey, hey! Have you watched the next, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Well, damn, that escalated quickly. Also, why did she keep on asking the of uh, him of the date? Like he doesn't fucking know. Okay, that's just fucking annoying. That would piss me off too. <laughs> oh my god, how many notes and shit? Ordinary Ostage 4B. We went in and met Polaris like a star. She told us where uh, we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn, the world fading and for the first time familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us to turn off the projector. The young monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off. They were gone. It was over. I took all the slides and burned them, ex all except. All of them except hand. Unconfirmed existence of pronouncial entity designation Polaris. Ordinary uh, Ostage 1B, the second slide we call the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line, it smelled like flowers here. There was powerful and intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been cool. Uh, must have been. It must have been because of this smell. I didn't like it. I didn't like losing control. Uh, in the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we we'd come to okay, come out, everything had melted around the projector. He was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. We we thought Neil had got got lost in the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Yeah, I saw this on the outside. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. What's these stages for? <laughs> Ordinary Ostage 3. Tom and the others had gotten worse scarier. The math teacher, Mrs. Chester, tried to make them listen and they pushed over a piano piano on her broke her legs and Tom bashed her head in. Bye bye, Mrs. Chester. I always liked her, I liked math. 
That was the tipping point. It was Lord of the Flies level bad. The grown-ups realized something was wrong. The police came and literally dragged Tom and Hugo and others away. Tom was screaming that the not mother would make them all go away. They enacted a curfew for every kid in, in ordinary. Mom and dad were pissed asking us about the dump, about everything. I remember wanting to go. Uh, I remember uh, wanting them gone like Tom had said. When we woke up the next morning, pretty much all the adults had just vanished. Was I responsible or did I? I don't know. The parents of majority of ordinary population confirmed to result from slide projector related awe. How did the adults get just vanish? Fuck everything. Fuck the. Oh. Just when I tried to leave. Filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Saint. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I did it. No matter. You feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No! No. Who is not dead? It's not me. Are you referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Pilatus. She's come back. For a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she, she showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident <laughs> that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Just saved No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly. It's of Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. Building... There, I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, do you your love. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Bitch. You mean tell me all the people that died ain't real as well now? You some bitch. Bitch ass looking bitch. Bitch, mother, bitch, mother, bitch. Ordinary supplement. Details are, are largely based on injuries conducted by Dylan Fade and seeing the reason and whom 
for relevant information to obtain the therapy uh, sessions of Jesse Faden as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that account uh, provided by all three sources containing co uh, conflicting data. Example, DF claims that there were eight slides of the project, JF mentions nine slides. The Bureau found one intact in in slide, designation uh, 36, and the burnt remaining the, and the burnt remains of six others. Could that mean that two or one or two slides w wasn't accounted for? Fortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in projectors. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump we brought. To the bureau for examination and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials due to the limited space in the investigation sector this all will be uh, investigated in the containment sector That's uh, dumb. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. Dumb cessation uh, of work order. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the hmm department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal effects before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in slide projectors found in the area, should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. The space looks the same as J Dylan's space. Globe supplement. The item was found in the penthouse suite at hmm, Toronto, belonging to David Wolf, who was uh, being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. C case 13 HQ 37. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranormal belongings, including hmm, hmm, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Article from Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street in, uh, investment trader, f filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that's uh, kept Toronto high society up at night. Up at night this past week, police say it's being looked uh, into. Some nut job radio show in the states claims he disappeared jo to join the Illuminati, but it's. This reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping Mai Tais while the world thinks he's dead. Hi guys, I'm up here. Why is he moving so fast? Motherfucker!
So, a lot of enemies. Thing up here was definitely a good call. We should check that lab. Oh, by lab. Okay, and this. Oh, this opens back up to the turntable. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other chests or stuff like that, so I'm just gonna go into the, uh, the little lab here. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. He wants us to get to it. Because he knows something will happen when we get to it. We got a few things. You have heard wrong fake news. The board is A OK -okay intact. The rebel faction descent is former fired. The crisis purge is over. It is not a matter of worry for you. You can hang up now, please. Dylan's a lost cause. I know I struggled to see this, but we contained him though. I wish I had sided with Marshall. Back when it's just one person. So many dead. I thought his youth was an asset. I just too much too soon. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I don't know when. Hmm. That's the full version of it.
Containment chamber. Alright, so we can either do that. I kind of want to get the energy. Let's do that. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. I think that's all we can do for now in this uh, sector. We want us to go to the research sector. I'm kind of curious as to where. Oh, we're going to the ashtray maze. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, um, I think we, we should wrap up at least, wait, what, we got this one? This one doesn't even have a description. Let's finish this one up before we do anything. We'll do the other ones next time, because I think uh, I'm kind of getting a little bit tired. Uh, so I think this would be a great place to stop. But let me just finish this one up. Uh, flamingo. Flamingo. Oh fuck, it's in there, okay. How did I not notice this last time? It's right there. Oh my god. That's got to be an altered item. You don't say. Wasn't allowed to touch the ground, huh? Oh fuck! This thing again. It's the boss. A lot of damage, bitch. How do you feel about that?
Oh, fucking kidding me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we gonna do this again? Oh, now I have to actually run to it. I have to redo the whole thing. That's got to be an altered item. Son of a bitch. This boss cannot cut me in the slack, huh? I did it wrong. I will, yeah. Ouch. Are you fucking serious? It picks up everything else but the ball. Oh, it's so annoying. Again, that's got to be an altered item. <laughs> this thing again. No. Really? You went down that easily? Please be gone. Please be gone. I never did like flamingos. Too pink. I feel you.
No unique procedure required altered uh, status suspected, but unverified a plastic pink flamingo lawn ornament to steel prongs extend from its uh, underside. The item is, su is suspected to influence uh, autosmeric physics, altering meteoro meteorological phenomena in the area. This effect is currently unconfirmed. A new altered effect has been observed. See foul A. I four six uh, point B, uh, D for details. Details. I just had to try it. Nope. Not doing that shit. I swear to God, if he says, there was another escapee, I, I will kind of get upset. <laughs> you know, enough is enough, okay? I don't want to fight the same boss a third time. Some of the security cameras aren't working. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. You don't say. Did they give you any trouble? The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but you know, it's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. No. I guess this is my life now. No. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Abilities. Do we want more energy? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I like using energy. Oh, now it doesn't take the full thing. And I can dodge around with these and throw them. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, uh, my back is hurting a little bit, so I think I think now is a good place. Um, we have these two side missions. We'll be doing them next time. I don't know where I got this one from, but I'm curious about it. Uh, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you did, consider leaving a follow if you haven't already. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch to catch me live. I have a Twitter. You can follow me there for updates and other fun stuff, as well as a Discord. You can find it all down below. But with all that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic uh, Friday tomorrow. I hope, you, I hope you'll stop by so I can say hi. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.